This is bizarrely interesting and delicious both at the same time. Hi guys, what's up everyone? I hope you've had a wonderful time celebrating Hari Raya with your family. Now we've come to our end. This is the last episode for our Hari Raya special where we repurpose Hari Raya leftovers into something that's exciting, brand new and delicious. So we've done a bunch of recipes over the past month, right? And a big shout out to all of you guys who have suggested your common leftovers so that I could use them and turn it into something brand new for you guys. I hope you've tried it out and you've liked it and your family enjoyed it. Now, the last recipe, I mean, I've saved the wackiest dish for the last, okay? And the reason I did so is so that you didn't judge me right in the beginning of this series. Okay, so today our leftover is serunding. This is a common leftover, especially during the end of Hari Raya because usually keep a lot of this during Hari Raya. So what I'm going to be doing today using serunding, which is like floss, okay, is I am going to be making serunding mac and cheese. Yes. It sort of sounds weird in my head, but I think it works. So this is something where I truly, truly am not so sure how this is going to turn out, but with, you know, different, a little bit of tweaks here and there to an original mac and cheese recipe, I believe it can work. So first of all, what we're going to do, I've got here a pot of water that I've been boiling away. All right, I'm going to just add some salt to it. Macaroni. All right, let that boil away. It's really has a very Asian flavor. I'm going to sort of make some tweaks to the cream to introduce the Asian flavor in the cream itself uh, by adding in a little bit of curry powder. Yeah. As I'm showing you this, right, I am questioning myself as well as I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, let's see if this works, okay? Together we'll find out at the end. Give the macaroni a good stir so that it doesn't stick together. All right, so now the pasta is done. What we're going to do, we're going to strain out the liquid. Okay, we're going to start into the same pot. I'm just going to add in some butter. We're going to start with the cream sauce. Now to this butter, I will be adding in a little bit of curry powder. This will give the cream a nice sort of orangey color and also give the hint of, you know, the Asian curry flavor. All right, once the butter is bubbling away, we're gonna be adding in some flour. Now this is making a roux so that our cream sauce will be nice and thick. You don't wanna burn the roux, yeah? Take it up on nice medium heat and sort of just cook the flour until you get this sort of nice and nutty flavor. All right, so once you see the flour starting to form up, yeah? And uh, you sort of get this biscuit aroma you know the flour is cooked through. All right, now we can proceed on with adding in our liquid. First off, milk. And I'm gonna be adding in cream. This is cooking cream. I'm gonna be changing up into a whisk so we can combine the roux and the cream and milk into a nice, smooth consistency. All right, so now, now that the cream is nice and smooth, yeah, you get this nice sheen of gloss on the top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the cheese. There is a combination of mozzarella, gouda, and as well cheddar. Yeah, this comes in packets, so you don't have to buy, you know, big packets of, of individual cheese to just make mac and cheese, right? Um, it's a lot more convenient that way. And I'm also going to be adding to this Parmesan. Make sure everything is nice and incorporated. Look at that nice stringy cheese. Macaroni goes in. Fold everything together. Look at how cheesy that is. Get a little fork. Now it's tasting time. It's interesting how surprisingly well the curry blends together with the cheese. Mm. It's good. Now it's a little bit thick, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be adding in a little bit more milk, yeah, just to loosen it up a little bit. Now this really depends on you. Some people like their mac and cheese really nice and thick. Some people like it a bit uh, looser. 
like I do. So, you know, you can always loosen it up with a little bit more milk. Nice. Okay, so I've saved up a little bit of cheese here. And uh, what we're gonna save this for is for the topping before we chuck it into the oven to bake. Grab your nice casserole. Okay, there we go. This comes up. Look at that, nice. Even it out. Then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna spread on extra cheese. Grate a little bit more Parmesan on the top. There we go, nice. And this is ready to be sent in the oven. All right, so for the topping, we're gonna to start off with a little bit of butter. And we're going to be toasting some breadcrumbs. Yeah, this is to give the mac and cheese that nice sort of crunchy texture on the top. Get this breadcrumbs nice and golden brown. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a couple more different things. Fantastic breadcrumbs are done. Now I'm gonna be adding in some sesame seeds. Yeah, this is a mixture of black and white sesame seeds. This goes in. There we go, nice. And last but not least, our serunding. Now to just sort of warm it up. Give everything a stir, mix around. Ooh, the moment you put the serunding inside, um, the smell automatically changes. All right, now this is done. Okay, so set it aside and uh, if you're going to transfer it into another bowl, then it's safe, but if you're going to leave it in the pan, just make sure once in a while, just shake it about. I'm not transferring it into a separate bowl again because I'm just lazy to wash! So now you can see we've got this nice yeah, crust on the top of this mac and cheese, and now we're just going to go in with our topping. Dust it all in! Yeah! Alright, now because this is an Asian version, right, of mac and cheese, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of coriander, yeah, instead of your usual parsley. So just rough chop these corianders, sprinkle it on the top. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our surrounding mac and cheese. Ready for this? Mmm, mamma mia! Look at that topping all on the top. Now, time for a little taste test. Get some of the topping on. Mm, 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 mm. Look guys, really, to be honest, I never thought I'd make a dish like this ever before. Um, but now that I've tried it, guys, it is actually quite nice. Mm, it's good. You have the mac and cheese that you're very familiar with, with a hint of curry powder in the inside, with a hint of curry, not too much, not overpowering. Still allowing the cheese to be prominent, but you've got this topping that's so full of different things. You've got the breadcrumbs that's nice, light, crisp. You've got the nuttiness from the sesame seeds. And you've got the surrounding that brings in this spiciness, this sort of a different texture all together in a mac and cheese that you don't usually would get. Yeah, it's sort of chewy and as you chew into it, it releases more flavor. Mm. It is a combination that is whack, that's for sure, but I promise you, you will enjoy it. Try it out. Mm. Now, you guys know that I get my groceries delivered to me by Happy Fresh. I want to share this with you guys. Download the app, check out the description down below, check out the link, and get your first order incentives today. We all live busy lives. It doesn't harm 
to save a little bit of time to get someone deliver groceries right to your doorstep. Now guys, if you've enjoyed this content, and although it's a bizarre recipe today, but if you've enjoyed it, you find it entertaining, or you think it's something that you would try at home, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and not forgetting the little bell notification on the side as well, so you get a notification whenever I've got a new video out for you guys. Take care guys, love you all once again, and this is the last for this year, Selamat Hari Raya. Ciao. Mm. So interesting. Especially the combination of textures. Um, having mac and cheese, you get at the back calling this surrounding with the spiciness, you know, the richness, the chewiness. Oh, Complements so, so well. Mm.